Welcome to the SATCOR TLE analysis tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how you can use SATCOR to view two line element data and also some of the other options you have available to you with the TLE analysis inside SATCOR. Two line element set data can be obtained from a number of sources including spacetrack.org or salastrack.com and the TLE data format is used to convey sets of orbital elements that describe the orbits of Earth orbiting satellites. Inside SATCOR TLE data can either be imported from your spacetrack database or imported manually. First I will show you how you can import data from a Spacetrack database into a TLE analysis. Please ensure you have an account at Spacetrack.org and that you have set up your Spacetrack database in SATCORD. For more information on this, please see our Spacetrack database browsing tutorial. A link is provided in the description below. So I'll open the Spacetrack database by clicking on the Browse menu item and then selecting the Spacetrack database. Next you should browse to the data you wish to send to the TLE analysis. In this example I will perform a country search and then choose the UK. I wish to send all data associated with the UK to a new TLE analysis. To do this we should click on the TLE analysis icon in the toolbar. You can either send the data to a new TLE analysis tab by pressing the icon or if you already have an existing analysis tab open you can send the data to an existing window by selecting the drop down arrow on the right hand side of the button. Since we have no existing TLE analysis tabs open we will send this data to a new tab. In the TLE analysis on the left hand side you can see the individual TLEs for each of the satellites identified for the UK and on the right hand side a projection of the Earth showing the orbits over a plus or minus one orbital period for each satellite. You have the usual controls over the view of the Earth so you can pan or rotate the view or change the view projection. If we select a TLE on the left hand side, for example here the TLE for DMC2 is selected, you can see in the bottom left hand side of the screen the input data from the TLE showing the various orbital elements and also the result data either for the epoch date associated with the TLE or for the currently selected date and time. So for this satellite we can see that at its epoch date and time of the 23rd of February its longitude, latitude, altitude and other location parameters are shown. There are a number of options available in this analysis above the list of the TLE data. We can add new TLE data either from a text file or from the clipboard. If for example you wish to import TLE data from Salastrack.com, then you can copy the TLE data from the website into your clipboard and then import it in here. You can export the TLE data including the results data at both the epoch and the custom date time to a text or CSV file. For example here we can see the exported data associated with this TLE in CSV format. Let me now close this document. If you have set up your spacetrack.org username and password in the options, you can also retrieve either the latest TLE associated with any satellite, or a specified date range from which to retrieve the TLE data. It is especially useful to retrieve historical TLE data associated with geostationary satellites to see if they have moved, and I will go over this in more detail later on in this tutorial. You can remove either individual TLE data or all TLE data. You can set the current custom date time to either the epoch date of this TLE or to the date time it is now. Let me choose now and you will see that the display on the right hand side slightly changed as the date time changed from the date time the tab was created to the date time it is now. Lastly you can generate a report on the basis of the selected TLE. Reports can either be based on the default template which is shipped with the software or on a custom template you can make yourself. Let me quickly show you what the default template looks like for this case. In the template output, the Earth plot reflects how they look in your TLE analysis. So it's possible to set up the diagrams so they reflect exactly what you wish to show before generating the report. For example, you can zoom in and rotate the map to display the key area before generating the report. Next, let me explain some of the options you have available to you through the right-hand side of the TLE analysis tab. In the bottom right-hand corner, we have controls allowing us to change the current custom date time, as well as options to plot the position over any number of past and future orbits. These are all predicted based on the TLE and it should be noted that the further from the epoch date the less accurate the predictions are. The animation options allow us to view how the movement of the satellite changes over time. Let me start this now. As you can see the TLE analysis is automatically updating the time and replotting the location of the satellite as it moves over this time period. You can change the refresh rate or the step size to impact on this analysis. 
Changing the refresh rate speeds up or slows down the analysis, and changing the step size changes the amount of time which is increased at each step. In this analysis we are updating the display every minute. Let me now pause the animation. We can now see how the satellite has moved from the initial date time we specified to the current date time. If we press the stop button, the plot will go back to how it was, just plotting the position over the past and future orbits as specified. This type of animated analysis can be useful to understand how the individual satellites in a constellation move in relation to each other. Lastly, I want to show you how we can use the historical analysis. This is most useful with respect to geostationary satellites, as we expect them to maintain a very similar longitude and altitude over time. So let me create a new TLE analysis for one of the geostationary UK satellites. For this example, I will choose Skynet 4E. I now want to import historical TLE data from the past year, which I can do by selecting the Import TLE Data button and then choosing a date range. I wish to import from a year and so I can click on OK. SetCord will then retrieve the historical TLE data from Spacetruck.org and add it to your analysis. On the right hand side, the location data associated with each TLE is plot on the Earth. But more usefully, you can choose the Historical Analysis tab to see a graph of how the key values have changed over time. Here is a plot of how the longitude has changed over time. We can also plot the other result values, for example here is how the altitude has changed over time. Thank you for watching, this ends the TLE analysis tutorial. If you have any questions, please contact us using the information in the description below.